Good morning. It's good to be here. Man, is it good to be home. I don't think I've ever been so happy to be home in my life as I was last night. Um, lots of driving, lots of emotion. Um, I feel like I lived a lifetime in those four days. Um, and it's just really, really good to be home. Really good to be with you. Happy Feast of St. Nicholas. We all love this feast so much. What's not to love about St. Nicholas, right? I want to wish a happy birthday to Martha Long, who's with us every morning um, and shares her birthday with this awesome feast day. So happy birthday, Martha. Um, all right, so let's get to the gospel. Let's begin with the Holy Spirit prayer. Um, and then we're going to be in Luke 5, starting with verse 17. And let's pray together in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. All right. Luke 5, 17. One day, while he was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting nearby. They'd come from every village of Galilee and Judea and, Judea and, Jerusalem, and from Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was with him to heal. Just then, some men came, carrying a paralyzed man on a bed. They were trying to bring him in and lay him before Jesus, but finding no way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and let him down with his bed through the tiles into the middle of the crowd in front of Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said, friend, your sins are forgiven you. Then the scribes and the Pharisees began to question, who is this who is speaking blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? When Jesus perceived their questioning, he answered them, why do you raise such questions in your hearts? Which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven you? or to say, stand up and walk. But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, stand up and take your bed and go to your home. Immediately he stood up before them, took what he had been laying on, and went to his home glorifying God. Amazement seized all of them, and they glorified God and were filled with awe, saying, we have seen strange things today. So a few things, um, uh, people were coming from all over, Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, lots of scribes and Pharisees who were coming not because of their faith um, as much as because of maybe their, their curiosity um, and that crowded that living room where Jesus was. Um, but faith, the faith of those friends dug the hole in the ceiling, in the tiles, in the roof and the ceiling, um, gave them the strength to carry that stretcher up in order to lower it down. Um, and I think that the thing that, that God has spoken to me this morning in this scripture, because I, I'm going to admit, like, I'm just going off script here, <laughs> um, is that when we feel alone in our faith, we need to reach out to the people who are strong in faith and can dig that hole for us and lay us at the feet of Jesus. So when we feel like we are the only people in the world trying to live the way Christ calls us to live, um, we need to reach out to the friends who will carry us and put us there. Um, so I don't know who those people are in your life, and, um, and some of them might be virtual. Some of them might be right here, right now, on this community, in this, in this group of people who are gathering every morning at nine o'clock to listen to scripture. Um, find your people. You need those people because it's one thing to be like the scribes and the Pharisees and follow all the rules and observe the law. And it's another thing entirely to be in a community of faith. And we need to live in a community of faith. So prop your Bible open, 
and ask the Lord to show you where your people are and how to cultivate that community of faith. And today, reach out to those people. Find those people and affirm your sense of community with them because we weren't meant to do this alone. We need the people to dig the hole in the roof and lower us to the feet of Jesus so that by faith we can be healed. That's all I have for you today. Pop your Bible open. Luke 5, 17. And pray for community. Have a good day.